Today we're going to talk about auto repair shop safety and risk control. These tips can apply to a body shop, an auto repair garage, and really any automotive related shop or garage. Safety is more than just an insurance issue. Having a safe operation and controlling risk has a lot to do with your reputation and your long-term sustainability. So when it's viewed through that lens rather than just as a mandate that your insurance company wants you to do, I think it's a better perspective. And we're going to get into it coming right up. Before I get into safety, can I ask you to do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button? That'll signal to YouTube that this is good content and it'll help grow my channel. Thanks. Okay, shop safety and risk control. Let's take this from four perspectives. Operational and customer safety, employee safety, security and crime, and lastly, property protection. Let's first acknowledge that automotive shops can be potentially dangerous operations. Hot work, flying debris, autos on lifts, noxious fumes, all can be harmful to customers who may not understand or realize all these risks. So here's a few tips regarding customer safety and operational safety. Number one, keep your customers out of your shop by posting proper signage, instructing them that shop areas are restricted and hazardous and to please wait in designated waiting areas. Number two, if a customer must enter the shop to inspect their vehicle, for example, temporarily pause all operations that may pose the potential for injury and have an employee accompany the customer to their vehicle, pointing out hazardous areas they should avoid, such as not standing under vehicles that are up on lifts. Number three, to that end, have floor markings that outline where hydraulic lift paths are, and that'll help keep customers away from that area. Number four, parking lots and areas around your shop should be in good condition and free from potholes and obvious trip and fall hazards. In northern areas, good practices around snow removal and ice removal is important. Moving on to the second area is safeguarding employees from shop hazards, such as flammable materials, flying debris, and such is vital to preventing workplace injuries and illnesses. Some of the key issues to address include carbon monoxide buildup and venting. Number two, having PPE or personal protective equipment such as safety glasses or goggles, gloves, etc. And they should be available at all times and encouraged to be used. Proper training and instruction should also be conducted on, a, on the use of PPE on a regular basis so employees have an understanding of the importance of those PPE materials as well as the limitations of them. Number three, safety training is a must for new hires as well as reinforcing good safety practices for experienced employees on a regular basis. If you don't have a written safety program, we can assist with the development of one. Number four, below ground level inspection pits often are a source of falls in garages. So safety netting or guardrails should be deployed to avoid these hazards. Number five, electrical tools, cords, and other equipment should be inspected on a regular basis and kept in good working order. Replace or repair damaged tools as needed. Number six, make sure that all safety guards on applicable machinery and equipment are in good working order, as well as training employees on how to recognize if a guard is missing or prohibit and prohibit guard removal. Finally, number seven, all hydraulic lifts should go through a routine inspection and maintenance program to assure they're in good working order. The third area of risk control in an automotive shop is security and crime prevention. Because garages contain expensive tools and customers' vehicles, they are often targets of theft and vandalism. And here are a few tips to consider. Number one, install lighting and security cameras in and around your property with particular focus on where you store customers' vehicles. Signs announcing the presence of security cameras is also a good deterrent to thieves and vandals. Number two, in addition to lights and cameras, it's recommended that vehicles are parked in a fenced and locked area at night. Number three, if your shop accepts cash and checks, be sure to deposit them prior to closing, and if that's not possible, locking those goods away in a safe after hours. Number four, protect the keys of the customer's vehicles by locking them after hours in a lockbox or a safe. Number five, at the end of the day, a closing protocol or checklist should be established and followed for locking all doors, windows, gates, and making sure security devices are turned on and working. This procedure can be executed by an owner or an employee in the owner's absence. The final area to go over is property damage risk control. 
Fire is a major threat to automotive shops due to the presence of flammables, and I've seen too many fires in my career that have decimated shops. Proper prevention protocols will help minimize the risk from fire, which can be devastating, not only to your property, but also to your customers' vehicles and have a dramatic impact on your income and cash flow. Here are some suggestions for limiting property damage risks. One, designate areas where hot work tasks are performed. These are welding, torch cutting, and grinding operations. These areas must be free from any combustible or flammable materials. Number two, have a written hot work program, which is used in training and retraining employees. If you need help here, let me know. We've got several resources here that I'd be happy to share with you. Number three, implement a tire storage system and dispose of all used tires in a timely manner to avoid excessive buildup. Number four is housekeeping. One of the biggest problem areas we see is maintaining good housekeeping practices, which includes avoiding the accumulation of clutter and trash that's often the source of fire. Have a shop objective of maintaining a clean and organized shop. Number five, along with housekeeping, is the safe disposal of oily rags in appropriate containers to avoid fire risk. Number six, install and maintain fire extinguishers that are appropriate for automotive repair shops and train employees on how to deploy an extinguisher in an emergency. Often your fire extinguishing service company can help train your employees. That's a quick rundown of the most common risk issues we see in the automotive repair shop business, but it's certainly not all of them. If you have a particular risk issue that you're struggling with, let me know. We have an extensive risk management library with resources that I'd be happy to share with you at any time. Thanks for watching.